All right, well, after a little bit, I finally got all my parts in. Hopefully, we'll see. Um, but I got all my rings gapped. I got all my pistons and rods together. And now is the time to put the crank back in the block. So the block's ready to go, oiled all up. You can never use enough oil on this. A little lube goes a long way, ask me how I know. So I'm gonna sit the, the bearings in. I'm gonna sit the crank in. I got some plastic gauges over there. And uh, so I'm gonna measure everything, make sure that everything fits well. I don't have all the fancy damn measuring tools that all these engine builders have. So the plastic gauges are gonna have to do. And um, we'll put them in there, make sure that everything's in spec. I expect that it will be uh because the four tolerances on these engines are actually pretty good and cleavite is pretty awesome so uh i'm gonna sit everything in there take some measurements make sure everything's good and we'll keep putting this thing back together so here i get all my bearings opened up and slide them in place into the block We'll set the crank in nice and easy, make sure that there's plenty of lube on the bearings. Then I pop all the bearings into the main caps. Now that the bearings are in the main caps, I'll take the plastic gauge set and I'll set a little piece of plastic gauge on each one of the journals. plastic gauges in place, we'll place the main caps on and torque those down. Gotta make sure you give the dog a pet. And then you can't build an engine without pizza. So we're gonna take a pizza break and get back to it. Once everything's torqued down, we'll zip all the bolts out with the impact gun and we'll check all the plastic gears. Okay, so we got the main caps tested. Uh, with the plastic gauges so you can take this line right here that's the plastic gauge itself and you match that up to these lines so you got about a 15 thou gap right there maybe a little less um, some of the other main caps look like they're a little tighter this one actually looks like it's a little bit looser than a 15 thou it's probably between a 2 and a 15 that's perfectly fine uh, so this guy right here went a little wide. You can see it's almost like a, a one thou, which looks really tight, um, which I'm not that happy about that, but that's literally the only main cap. So this is the same one, or the other one that went to one thou, but on the other side of it went oh, to uh, about two thou. It died. No, it's good. No, it's just the, just the camera. Oh. Oh, okay. She's good. Well, it's lighting up red. We're fine. Um, wow. Wow. Look at that technology. I'm old. Neato. And uh, the, this back main cap looks actually really good because it's between uh, 15 and 2,000. 
so I'm happy with it um, yeah so we'll just throw this thing together it's always good to check your shit because you never know if anything's real big or real loose or uh, real tight and uh, just do a quick check on everything make sure you don't have to order th anything new and um, put it back together and it should be good the only other thing that we gotta check is uh, the rod bearings once we get there but uh, that's the next thing that I'll be showing you Okay, well, James bailed all of us, and he didn't time-lapse the uh, video of me putting the main caps on and everything and measuring everything. But uh, the main caps are on. The crank spins super smooth, and Miley Cyrus is in our hole. There she is. She's going to destroy everything. Uh, so last time I did this, I used a regular piston ring compressor, and it was a nightmare. I broke, like, 10 oil rings, and it was probably the worst thing I've ever done in my life so this time I brought I bought these uh, actual piston ring compressors that fit the cylinder from Brian Tooley racing and that thing went in so smooth it was unbelievable I like barely had to tap it in so if you guys ever actually do one of these engines highly recommend buying one of these uh piston ring compressors from brian tooley racing it's like 30 bucks and it's gonna save you hours of work and a bunch of headaches and a bunch of piston rings because the regular piston ring compressors just don't cut it um so we're gonna get the rest of this uh short block together tonight i think i'm gonna call it from there so here i'm installing all the pistons you can say i take my brian tooley piston install tool and that's uh designed specifically for the coyote bore they sell it for uh pretty much every bore size and i cannot suggest using one of those tools enough because they work fantastic and uh, so every time i put the piston in i make sure that the piston rings are correct and then slide it in then once I get all the pistons in, I completely forget that I was going to show you how the plastic gauges work and I walk away and don't need to the camera off. And okay guys, I haven't made a video in a little bit. Um, I've been working on the drift car quite a bit because I just keep beating the shit out of it and breaking it. And uh, I've been waiting for more parts. But uh, this should be my last box. This is my third last box that I've been talking about. But... Um, I keep trying to do things not working. These are the rocker arms to make the GT cams fit in the Shelby heads. So I was a little bit suspicious of the rocker arms because they don't look like much and they only have a little tiny groove taken out of them, which is what it shows, you know, when you look at them. But when I put the other rockers in, they didn't fit. But I'm actually pretty sure that these are just the regular GT rocker arms because I was doing some reading on it and apparently the Shelby rocker arms are bigger. And um, I'll show you a picture of the valves hanging open on the GT350 heads because I was over there working on it at uh, my buddy Clint's house. And when I put the heads in, they hung open like, or the cams in the head, the valves hung open like 30 thou. Uh, so hopefully these will work. I'm gonna put a set of these in and uh, rotate the head, make sure that the valves don't hang open, make sure that the cam doesn't touch anywhere other than the actual uh, roller on the rocker. And um, if that works, I'll run a feeler gauge in there, see the clearance, and hopefully that's all I gotta do. And I can use my old cams and everything. If not, it would cost me like uh, two grand to get custom cams made and really don't wanna do that. All right, so a quick video here. You can see these are the valves that are shut. There's not any rockers in them. So that's what a shut valve looks like. So these things actually work. Imagine that. Save me quite a bit of headache just doing that. Um, you know, buying from the guys that actually know what they're doing, building crazy race engines. Um, I just figured I would be able to do it by myself, but uh, I'm pretty sure those are regular GT rockers that are clearanced because when you put the GT350 rockers in there, it's not a clearance issue. 
they actually don't rub on the rocker at all on the uh, cast piece it rubs on the roller the entire way around so even when the lobes 180 out it opens the valve like 30 thou so does not work at all but looks like these GT ones will work and I'm pretty excited all right guys I got you a video here of this um, and you can see that it's actuating properly and it's not hitting so apparently those guys know what they're talking about uh, it looks like it really just like barely needs to be clearanced and they over clearance it a little bit probably due to different lift sizes and things um, but it does look like it kind of rubs on the way around so I gotta flip this around and then put the feeler gauge on there but I checked both sides um, and the intake and exhaust are not rubbing um, so that makes me feel a lot better all right guys i hope you enjoyed the video and make sure you stay tuned for next week because we should be able to get the heads on and get the engine ready to go to get that put back in uh make sure you like comment subscribe and uh let me know what you want to see because um we should be getting this car done here soon so i can take requests and maybe we can go do some cool shit with it